that positive stuff aside for just a moment, what made you want to call out Wrecking Ball? Oh, man. <laughs> we couldn't do the whole interview without getting into some bullshit. What can I say? <laughs> I'm going to say this. I, this, is, this is my thing about this whole situation. I didn't heard and seen him bully so many, like, dope, positive dudes. Right? Mm. You dig what I'm saying? Like, skaters that just try their hardest to please their fans, good friends of mine, young bucks of mine in the game. And, you know, his name came up a few times from a few good friends. I can't even front. And I'm like, damn, like, this nigga is such a fucking bully. Like, so I put up a, sh a picture of me, like, working out. Something I did, and he commented. And I just sent him a DM, like, look, bro, like, I'm not even with the shit. Let's not even play those games. And he took it and ran with it. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he took it and ran with it. And it's all entertainment. You feel a lot me? of people would be kind of scared to respond to him because they wouldn't want to become his person that he's talking about that week. Uh, well, you know, it was just a week. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about a week. You know, right. you know what I did in that week, Doug? I, right. mean, I don't really know what to say. I, all I know is that he um, he's popular, but when it comes to people like that, I didn't mind using my platform. I didn't mind being exposed or whatever the case may be by his likings. I actually got more fans off of it, which is dope. So shout out to all of the new fans, whatever. Mm. Um, I got some new haters, too, that popped up, which was pretty cool. It actually put me in a position where I'm like, damn, I'm not an underdog now. Mm. It's pretty cool. But do you think that his shit is funny from time to time? Like, there's definitely videos I've seen of just people yeah. doing tricks, sketchy or whatever, that I'm just sitting yeah. there dying laughing yeah. at. Yeah. I was watching it the other day with my homie in uh, – he was like, hey, this dude's pretty tight. I'm like, yeah, skateboard school. I mean, right. I don't really care. That's the weird thing about him is I've never seen somebody who's pretty good at skating, but also like juiced up huge. Oh, and then is also pretty funny on the internet. Like that's a weird combination. It's 2020, bro. <laughs> you could you could kind of do whatever you want to do. Anything's possible. And if any if it works, it works. It just I didn't mind using my platform to expose somebody that I thought was like a being a bully. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And if and with all of the stuff that's going on now with kids acting crazy, kids shooting up schools, just being misdirected, I was I would be like, damn, bro, you can't use your fucking platform for anything like positive, if, especially if you're trying to be a pro skater. Like, mm. like. That's just kind of how I look at it. And that's what I was hitting him with mm -hmm. on the DM. Like, yo, you don't think, like, you should be a little bit more influential if you got all of these kids following you because you're leading all these niggas into, like, a a, um, a brick wall if they think that they could do what you do to get put on because mm -hmm. you're not put on. But you want to know something I really noticed about that kind of shit is because there's been, like, similar accounts to his in BMX as well is that – once people get to the point where they don't think that they're going to have a career in the yeah, industry or as yeah. a pro or whatever, they get kind of salty <laughs> about the industry and they want to make fun of the industry. Yeah, so it's like they're the, yeah. like places form online where people yeah, will basically just yeah. have that kind of humor yeah, because, you yeah. know, the truth is, is that the media, if there's some pro skater who's super goofy, the media yeah. are probably going to be the last ones to point it out because they're probably well, getting no, he, he advertising actually, he actually money. Has a, um, he, this was funny. He, has a, he had an article in this town. Really, and this town basically, basically said like you and your homie went to California to try to make it, and your homie made it, and you didn't make it. Really, and now you back home. You know what I mean? I so, didn't see that. So article. I understand. That's like, all right, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. You know what I mean? And I can't even front. Only thing I can really do is 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 tell them thank you for real, for real, because I was bored. Mm. I was, you know what I mean? You had time that day. I actually had time, like for like. <laughs> Four weeks because I did this like six week boot camp workout. So I'm up eight in the morning. Oh, I'm really? Making oatmeal and shit like on Instagram. And I found a new friend. How many hours a day were you working out? I don't know, like an hour, two. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just like just really? fast shit. Committed diet. Committed and all diet that shit. and all the mm. shit like that. But at that point, two months ago, it was like, what the fuck am I doing talking to this dude? And then the <laughs> results of it now, because like I ain't really, I don't even really take it that serious. I can actually be like, damn, thank you, bro, because I got like super psyched off of skating again. Um, probably like three thousand extra of his fans, P 
people seeing what I want to do. But to be honest with you, like, I, you know, I ain't really tripping, though. Mm. You know what I mean? I wish them the best because I'm already put on. Right. Like, niggas want to get put on. I just want to let niggas know that's not how you get put on. That's got to be a good feeling, though, because a lot of people, like, if you're a sponsored pro, your spot is not solidified. Your spot could be ripped away from you in yeah, any given yeah. minute. Especially <laughs> with a nigga like Wrecking Ball, like, he start <laughs> pointing out things and, like, you oh. know what I mean? It's like, but then, you know, this is 2020, so if you're going to be a pro these days, because it wasn't like that back then, but mm. if you're going to be a pro these days, then obviously you have to worry about dudes like him. You know, if you're LeBron James and you're playing somewhere, you got to worry about the heckling fans. Mm. You know, it's a part of the professional job. Now, are you going to go and smack the shit out of the fan? You can't. They're going to, you know, sue you first, and mm. then they're going to kick you out the league. Same rules apply with us. Ain't like somebody going to pull up the wrecking ball's house and beat him up. It's just like, look, bro, it's just entertainment, bro. Mm. I, don't, I ain't looking at it like anything other than that, for real, for real. I feel that. Yeah. So in terms of like what your attention is split between right now, in terms of brands, family, everything, like where, what, what are your priorities right now? What are all the, the projects you got on the table? DGK all day, first, first and foremost. Um, I've been skating a lot, so I'm, I'm thinking about actually releasing something. You know what I mean? I, I got some good legs. That boot camp really like helped me out a lot. The, the working di- the out will really did. help you with everything else in yeah, life, right? Lo- losing the body fat too mm. was pretty dope, and just getting into like a healthy mood. I got lower back pain. I lost like thirty pounds. I don't know what the fuck it is, but my lower back pain just as I lose the weight, it just goes away. And that's something I to tell you. My new thing is really like CBD. Mm. I've been into that, and um, I have a product that I'm about to release. Really? In like three weeks, so I can't really mention the name until the trademarks is done. Oh, okay. But um, it's a dope product from uh, from the CBD line. CBD wax? Nope. No? The ledge, the ledges don't benefit from it? That would be sick, though. <laughs> CBD wax. It just oh, popped shit. in my head. Like, what? that's got to happen, right? Hey, that's lit, though. <laughs> that's lit. No, um, let me see. And then not just being a dad, just being positive. I'm all, it's always DGK, for mm-hmm. sure. We come up with things to try to make, make it work for the culture. Skateboarding, mixing it, bridging the gap. The charity stuff, we always doing that, um, giving away boards and like I said, just being the best best dad I could possibly be when I when I have the time, other than if I'm busy. Uh, you know what I mean? Working and shit. You think it's Atlanta for for the time being? Atlanta? You're not gonna give up on that at, at some point. I you love don't Atlanta. Think? You're, you're committed to it. Committed. Shout out to Atlanta. No, Atlanta Everybody. is amazing, that's a fact. So Atlanta helped me out with a lot of my life when 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 I didn't think that black people or urban people really fuck with skating, mm. I was like, fuck it, I'm moving to Atlanta. You feel me? Atlanta fucks with black people doing anything. Man, you could be the <laughs> best hopscotch player out this yeah. motherfucker. Like, I have a friend of mine who told crazy, me that. He's like, he's like, man, like, he's like, yeah. I'm about to move to Atlanta and just start a car wash because it'll just be like a black-owned car wash, and I know people are going to fuck with it. <laughs> man, man, hey, I love Atlanta. That's y'all. a beautiful thing right I there. I love yeah. Atlanta. I love Los Angeles, too. I love my city, Philadelphia. You dig what I'm saying? But for the most part, like, just being, just, just, I learned over the years, just, just being, just being solid and, and being, having some integrity with what I try to do and what I stand for. And, um, just relax. Mm. That's what I'm on. I'll be relaxed. The quality chilling, of life. Smoking weed, watching LeBron and AD kick some ass and shit like that. Sixers. I'll be chilling. I, I try to do everything that I, didn't have time to do when I had a career. Mm. So now I'll just be kind of like just taking my time. I'm not in a rush for shit. I ain't rushing for nobody. I'm more like just being available when my kids need me or when my job calls so I can make some bread. Mm. You know, but, but shooting for all of the extra shit I used to do, yeah, I'm chilling. That's what's up. Yeah. The words of somebody who's a... Uh... Accomplished a lot, <laughs> influenced a yeah. lot of people. That's how you. That's what. That's what you would want to get to in life, right? Exactly. Yeah. 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 Being able to just relax. I have know? those kind of conversations with people a lot because it feels like successful people are always like on a scale of you know somebody who just made their first hundred thousand dollars and they're starting to feel like you know you know you you might start to get to a point where you feel like oh I can I can kick back a little bit and then you I, I met that somebody shit, the other honey, yeah that honey gonna go quick <laughs> yeah I know that might not be enough to really feel like uh, you can chill but I was talking to somebody the other yeah. day that probably got 
10, 20, 30 million dollars in the bank. Mm -hmm. And that's always what they're sort of starting to get to is like realizing, oh, like spending time with my family is important. Like once yeah. they start to get to that position where they feel comfortable, you know? Yeah. And I'm, man, I balance. I'm not even a thousand percent comfortable. It's just <clears throat> when I told you like earlier in the interview um, that, uh, that point where you want to give up, you gotta, you gotta do a little bit more. Mm. Like those are like milestones in my life sometimes. Cause like I'll be wanting to give up, but then like, if I give up, like who the fuck is going, who, who am I going to give it to? Mm. And I ain't trying to give it up. So I balance, I try to balance out the important time and explain that to my kids too, that, you know, you can be involved with me as I'm still trying to work my, 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 my thing. Mm. And you can help me or let me know how I can help you when you start working your thing. Mm. But you got to have a thing. Definitely. <laughs> you got to have a thing. And if you don't want a thing, then I, nigga, I'll probably be ordering from you at Taco Bell or some shit. Mm. But for the most part, like leading by example is what I like to do. And when I do call it quits, it should be like a, a relaxed, comfortable, appreciative situation where it's like, that's where I want to get to in life. So I got to learn it. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm practicing. Well said. All right. Stevie Williams, no uh, jumper. Gee. Appreciate What's you. Your boy? Been meaning to do Thank this you. for a while. I'm yes, glad we finally good. got yeah, it yes, in. Yes, 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 yes. Hell yeah. Stevie Williams, no jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, oh, iTunes. Oh. Like, comment, subscribe. No jumper cushion stores. No jumper.com if you want to support. Man, you need to give me a bag of that shit, man. Do we got any? Shit. Shit, we might be out. This thing's jump right in that bag. This shit. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, man. All right, my G. Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy, Stevie Williams. Once again, thanks for watching these clips. Make sure you go out and check out the full-length video with No Jumper. Like, subscribe, and comment. You know what I mean? Follow me.